One of the countries in Africa, that shares a similar fate with Haiti, is Ethiopia, a country, that is located in the Horn of Africa. Not only does those two countries, share the same fatal blow by the European powers, but they are intricately intertwined historically. In 1895, during the scramble for Africa, Italian troops from nearby country, Eritrea, decided to attack Ethiopia, over a dispute of the Wakail Treaty. At the time, Ethiopia was being ruled by the Emperor Menelik II. One of the key figures, and the aide-de-camp, to Emperor Menelik II himself, was a Haitian man by the name of Benito Silvan. Benito Silvan, was a Haitian journalist, diplomat and lawyer, and one of the organizers of the 1900 Pan-African Conference. Born in port de pay Haiti, Silvan packed the connection between Afro-descendants, and Africans, and became a representative for these groups, that were colonized by European powers. He is considered to be a pioneer of Pan-Africanism, along with another famous Haitian-American, by the name of, W. E. B. Dubois. Benito Silvan, was the first African from the diaspora, that ever traveled back to the convent. When he arrived, he spoke to Emperor Menelik II, about the threat of colonial powers to Ethiopia, and how the institution of slavery, is morally wrong, and should be banned all across the continent, to which the Emperor shared a similar opinion. Then the discussion drifted to Silvan's vision of African regeneration. Even countries like Egypt, and Ethiopia, with a long history of civilization, were often disparaged in popular opinion. Because of unfavorable European coverage, Silvan explained. The solution, as the West Indian side, was for blacks in Africa, and the Americas to set aside petty differences, and unite in a common cause of racial solidarity. This was not about a racial backlash. Rather, it was about uplifting oneself to the level of Europeans, with Western blacks playing the civilizing role. More specifically, it was up to the elites of Haiti, Ethiopia, and North American blacks, to join hands in working, for collective social transformation. Benita Silvan dream was to unite, Haiti, Ethiopia, and Liberia together, since they were the only independent black nations in the world at the time. Haitians and Ethiopian relationships evolved over the years, Benito Silvan, and W.E.B. Dubois, continued to help, and even financed, Ethiopia against potential, and existential threats. Menelik II, made Benito Silvan, his aide-de-camp in the Ethiopian army. At the Pan-African Conference of 1900, Emperor Menelik II of Ethiopia, and the presidents of Liberia, and Haiti, were made honorary members of the association. It was at this gathering, that the friendship between Menelik II, and Benito Silvan was seen publicly, for as well as speaking for Haiti, the emperor asked him to represent Ethiopia. Benito Silvan, is said to have visited Ethiopia four times, on missions of eager diplomacy, as well as spiritual enrichment. On October 3, 1935, Italy invaded Ethiopia, a second time. The Haitian government was the first to condemn the unlawful invasion, and the first to offer military, and financial support to Ethiopia. The Emperor Haile Selassie resisted with all his might. The last Italian troops in East Africa, were defeated at the Battle of Gondar, in November 1941. On the 24th of April of 1966, it was time for Ethiopia to return the favor. During the Francois du Valier rule, Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia, took it upon himself to visit the Republic of Haiti, in order to discuss Pan-Africanism, and the future of the two states. If you enjoy my content, please consider to subscribe, to my YouTube channel, Mystery of History.